next uh, segment of this meeting is that uh, we have got uh, HPL presentation, high performance presentation. presentation. So to do this, we have got those Master Thomas. Uh, he is very fondly called as Professor of Medley and he is also a D82 PR manager. So this is just a title and you are going to see action, what, what he has done in this entire year. Today he is presenting the results of HPL hidden on the redesign, launching and maintaining the D82 website. So, if you are very eager, you can just go and visit this uh, D82 website. Firstly, uh, in my last three years, uh, it's, it's a very different version of website. This has been made very perfectly by Thomas uh, and the Thank you, Jay Mori. Good afternoon, dear Close Masters. Yes. I would like to present a case study of what you've already heard. To give you a background, when I took over as VPR manager in uh, May last year, I realized that the first task for me was to revamp the legacy website of this because it had grown inorganically and become a cut and paste kind of a monster. Uh, because if you look at some examples, and, and very ambiguous titles, what is information, what is about, what do I get by? Topic of underlay, calendar, newsletter, realigned organization, structure, calendar. But didn't know what to expect. And also, we had to go up to three clicks, so a lot of pain. Also, it was basically a very nice angelic site, but with very monstrous patterns. So we developed the mission of the new website. It was to make the website a people-friendly, easy to navigate and appreciate site, even for a new person, a visitor. Presented in sync with the personality of the Toastmasters, to support both marketing and people bonding. Accordingly, we drew up the vision, core values, strategy, and what happens. The project involved three sequential parts. In the first part, the planning and the visualization, which involved the content, the structure, the personnel, which was well within my control because with the district director as a mentor for this, I knew what to get where and we went, we cracked it pretty fast. Second problem, well, the second was a problem because Toastmasters prescribes that this should be done by volunteers, not by payment. And webmaster of the past was only somebody who was uploading it. This webmaster had to create something. So there was a little conceptual difference. So we got a Toastmaster volunteer, somebody put up the hand. We realized the skill deficit, so hunted out, hunted around to find a, uh, the agency. Finally, we found one in Coimbatore. And I went across, two days I spent there. Mostly got it ready, so we thought the volunteer can take over. Again, uh, thing like creating a form and things like that was beyond the volunteer. So we went into second round of failure and got another agency. You know the owner of the agency, I would say that some other time we would thank him from the medley years. So that really, we got a member of my team, a webmaster. But again, as luck or otherwise would have it, that this fourth year student suddenly <coughs> disappeared, wasn't communicating, and we had a breakdown. So again, we had to get underground and go for an agency run by a Toastmaster to be within the norms of the DMR. The reason, friends, is this priorities of people change, especially in the fourth year engineering. Right? <laughs> Result we managed to launch it on 30th July. We also persuaded. This is again done gratis by one of the Toastmasters who hosts it to get a certification for, for safety so that that telltale warning signal had disappeared for forever. You must have got it. Alert. And lastly, Pulse, which used to be a quarterly, we made it into a high frequency month and used it. Uh, so to me, what are the challenges? First of all, coming, having worked in the corporate world, I used to pay and get the best. Here, I had to persuade and wait for the best time. 
Secondly, I have the constraints of a zero budget, which I am not used to. Also, the servant leadership that we talk about, it's good, but also remember that command and control has no place in servant leadership. It's all about appealing to the other side to act on own volition and self-respect. So, which means it's truly a test of human relations, skills, and patience. See, you can accomplish a day's task at the cost of a friendship, but how many friends do you have at the rate of one friend a day to lose? So you go to strike a balance. Secondly, when a colleague fails, what do you do? One solution, step in and do it yourself. In this honesty, I must say, I learned it by demonstration from DTM Sudan. Which is good. There are two possible outcomes. One, a very conscientious colleague would say, let me do it. Or, it could become the new norm, like mothers cleaning up the children's home forever. Home forever. Now the last point, don't blow your tongue. Don't blow your tongue. For example, say you get this message across, no response. Phone up in the morning, phone up in the night, no message. Finally, you send an emissary. And then comes the message, sorry Thomas, my laptop fell in the water. My first instinct is to say, come on, send me a photograph to prove that it happened. No. But what do I get? It's a whole of it. Also, I realize that at times, truth can be stranger than fiction. Maybe it happens. You never suspect. Therefore, whatever happens, Lastly, I would end by giving my acknowledgement to three technicians in the three agencies with whom I spent time. All I gave them was human respect. All I got was a lot of work done which I couldn't do by remote control. Secondly, Sudhendi definitely because collaborating with her was the best thing to happen because she knew what is required and she knew the content where to get. The rest of it, uh, Ronnie and myself, we rest of that. And also, I must thank uh, Alex Jacob, DTM Alex Jacob. He cleaned up the vision mission part for me. And uh, lastly, formally, let me acknowledge my PR team, whoever is, whatever is left of it. Obviously, you know that uh, we, all of us are not there together, uh, in a sense, uh, but uh, Ronnie helped me with that. So with that, I must close. And later, offline, we can take it.